Uh, speaking of code, one of the ways I've been testing out Cyberpunk, one of the only ways I've been able to find a little bit of time to play it is on Google Stadia. And I was actually surprised at the Google Stadia experience mm. for Cyberpunk 2077. Talked about it before. However, up until moments ago, it's been impossible for individuals on iOS devices, on iPhones and iPads to enjoy Cyberpunk 2077. However, that changes right now, stadia.google.com. Mm. This is the easiest and most obvious workaround. Every single company that's been trying to do business with Apple in the App Store with a game streaming service has been failing. They have not been able to agree upon um, a method for which how that can happen. Facebook had issues. Amazon had issues. Epic. <laughs> Epic has epic issues. And Stadia is the same. However, Google said, you know what? We're Google. And we're going to find a way. Mm -hmm. And the product already worked so well in the Chrome browser. Mm -hmm. you, you think to yourself, well, why not just launch in a mobile browser? Well, that's what they did. No right. app necessary. You just navigate to stadia.google.com. You log into your Stadia account. And you're playing Cyberpunk 2077 on your iPhone or iPad. Yeah. And I think, like, when I think of the iPad Pro, for example, that could be a really nice gaming experience. Yeah, you just kind of prop it up. You That's prop your it display, up. Display, and then you have a controller. That's it. It's a it's a it's a nice fast refresh display. You forget. Oh yeah. Right. It's faster than a lot of laptops, hmm. at 120, and the speaker system is another thing that gets overlooked. As far as mobile devices are concerned, the iPad has a great speaker system. And so now, I mean, if you don't want to use headphones, and now, you don't have a keyboard in your way like a laptop. So if you've connected to Stadia controller, you can pull it wherever you yeah, want. Yeah. There's a lot of, you know, you can play in bed or it's kind of a nice experience. So Cyberpunk 2077 effectively comes to an enormous user base here. Mm. You know, Stadia is going to get a piece. Google doesn't mind. But this is on the upswing. This is on the upside for those same dudes who lost that Billy. Now the sin is saying, well, I mean, I don't know how this story is going to get out there. I don't think iOS users are going to immediately figure it out in the same way they would as if cyberpunk just showed up in the app store but we're we're getting no word out right now mm -hmm. if you own an ios device this is by far the cheapest way and you don't own a console and you don't own a gaming pc because mm -hmm. you can't play this game on mac outside of a web browser either mm -hmm. if you have an, if you have a macbook or something like this so it's really solves some problems for you here yeah if you're in the you know um Apple ecosystem and you want to play Cyberpunk? Like, now you can. Chance. And Google made it possible for you. That's kind of... Uh, well, obviously, there's something in it for Google, but it's... I don't know if this workaround is the permanent thing. It's a bit unfortunate that a native app can't get approved for these game streaming services inside of iOS, but obviously, Apple has its own game streaming product and... And of course, they they also that's not the reason they claim it's a security issue with all these uh, various pieces of software launching from inside of another piece of software. Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll get fixed up one day, maybe not. But this is the best in the meantime. And I can speak to the web browser experience that it's actually it surprised me how much it feels like an app once right. you're in the browser version of Stadia. So I think iOS users are going to be surprised. Maybe go give it a try. Mm -hmm. Let me know how that goes. Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll, I'll scrounge up one of those iPad Pros and uh, see what it's like. Yeah, it definitely beats the last-gen uh, base models for sure. The last-gen what? Base model. Uh, oh, uh, PS4? Xbox and PS4? Don't don't even mention that anymore. Okay, yeah. Just should. people. You said that's like forty percent of people are playing it on old consoles, like and that, I, yeah. I, that's that really scared me. Yeah. To think that almost half of the experiences with the game are as bad as I've been hearing. Yeah. And then the other half are guys like you who are like A plus plus. Yeah. Because you got your Well, I'm privileged to be honest. Oh, I, I agree. Well, I can agree with that. So. I can agree with that. Exactly. <laughs>